Fraserburgh, a small town in the northeast of Scotland, hometown to Thomas Blake Glover, better known as the Scottish Samurai. Thomas Blake Glover was born on the 6th of June 1838, the fifth consecutive son to his parents, Thomas Senior and Mary. His father had become a local coast guard after spending some time with the Navy. It's here where he met Mary and gave birth to young Thomas and his siblings. But even though Thomas left Fraserburgh at a young age, he is still fondly remembered. Unfortunately, during the Second World War, Glover's family home was destroyed in an air raid. But there is a plaque on Commerce Street in its memory. And right beside his house is a fish and chip shop which has taken his name on as their own. Michael Manny, owner of Glover & Co Fish and Chips, told us how Thomas Glover's history has left its mark on his business. We revamped the shop, made it all into one large chip shop, and named it Glover & Co, after Thomas Blake Glover's company named Glover & Co in Nagasaki. Yes, I think it is. Uh, more and more customers that comes into the shop are asking questions about Thomas Glover and said that it's something new, although it's been here for a long time, it's something new to them and they've read up about it on newspapers or the internet and they find it very interesting. Originally, this at the, the back of this property, there would have been two houses, number 15 and number 17 Commerce Street. And number 15 would have been where Thomas Blake Glover was born. So obviously in that time there was no hospitals and things and people were born just inside the houses. Yet that isn't the only place where Thomas Glover is remembered. His old primary school, which still serves as a nursery and school, has a plaque outside the door showing their pride and letting everyone who enters know he went there. An exhibition is set up in the local heritage museum called Glover Gardens. This mimics his famous gardens at Glover's home in Nagasaki, Japan. From Fraserburgh, Thomas Glover relocated to the Bridge of Dawn. This took a long time as his father needed to sort out a house for the family and also to make sure that he could look after all his children. This became the home where young Thomas spent the rest of his youth. Today, the Glover family home can be found on Balgauni Road, full of Japanese items and many pictures, both of Thomas and of those he helped over the years. Glover isn't as well known in Scotland as you might expect. Our gala, a group in the Bridge of Dawn, wanted to change this. They organised a festival which hoped to return Glover's Japanese culture to Aberdeen. Held at the Gordon Barracks at the Bridge of Dawn, its stalls and events showcased a number of Japanese-influenced activities. There were performances of dojo drummers, a local kendo group, a selection of popular Japanese foods were on offer to complete the experience, such as these takoyaki, a fried squid batter ball. Martin Young, one of the main sponsors, spoke to us about the event. The event started as a gala, not with this theme, but it started as a gala nonetheless, um, and the theme came afterwards. We had a Japanese uh, student exchange, and there was the Rotary Club, and they um, put forward the idea of Thomas Glover, which 
turned out to be the centenary of his death, and we thought, what a fitting um, idea. That was the main reason for the event coming round. Important to the North East, it, it, it's highlighted something that has been very unknown for quite a while, which is Thomas Blake Glover and his fame at one point in time, which was the founder of Mitsubishi. He turned out to be one of the, the biggest traders around in, in Japan. As a sponsor, I'm, I'm delighted, delighted with the response that it's had as well. Thomas Glover left Aberdeen and the UK a long time ago, and all that's left of him is a house. He is probably somebody that should be recognised as being somebody who made it from Bridget on. He isn't. And I think this has brought to light in the schools a local champion, somebody who's, who's made it big and, and, and done something really important with themselves. Theatre Modo, a dramatics company from Aberdeen, went around the schools at Bridge of Dawn seeking help in creating a parade to detail Thomas Glover's time in Japan. The costumes were all made by the students, along with the dance routines and even the fire display. The parade travelled along Ellen Road to Westburn Park, where they were met by a fireworks display to finish the night. In Japan, where Glover was best known for co-founding Mitsubishi, Kirin Beer, and for helping to give Japan its first railway, he also brought some of this success back to Scotland, where Scottish shipbuilders began creating Japan's warships. He was also the first Western person to be bestowed the Order of the Rising Sun for his work in getting the Emperor his throne back. It has even been claimed that Puccini's Madame Butterfly is based on elements of Glover's life. With such a significant history, it comes as little surprise that his Nagasaki home is the most visited tourist attraction in the entire Kyushu region, and that his story is mandatory reading in most Japanese schools. Yet somehow, this same isn't true in Scotland, nor even in the Northeast. Few people here know of his achievements in Japan and how he created such a close bond between our nations. Even though Thomas Glover, the Scottish samurai, is no longer with us, it remains clear that his legacy will live on for many years to come. <laughs>